Let's see what level of indoctrination we have on the kids here in Norway. As in how much they uh, learn in school and uh, what they can do on their own. In Norway, science center is called Viten Center, as in knowledge center, center of knowledge. And just by googling it here you can see I have um, eight or nine different uh, hits. So they are all over the country. From uh, south in Kristiansand, we have uh, lots of different things to do. Arndal, which is pretty much the same, those are about the same one. Then at Trondheim, in the middle of Norway. We have um, in the eastern part of Norway. We have just about all over in the Oslo, Trondheim, Trumsalt and North, Bergen. And this is one in Spiria, where I had my kids for a few uh, visits in Sarpsborg. There are lots of lots of stuff to do and learn all by yourself without uh, anyone telling you how it is. You see how it is. This is uh, where I had my daughter now the um, last time. This is in Bergen. Vil vite want to know and um, this is just a place of awesomeness so let me just show you some pictures of my kids this will not be in a, in a chronological chronological order or something this is just uh, i had to dig up a whole lot of pictures from my um, my old uh, hard disk I also have a whole lot more than on another hard disk, but that one had a, a hit on the floor, so that don't work anymore. So this is just a few samples of what kids can do in the uh, science centers. This is my son, Philip. He is now uh, almost 16, but from he was a little kid, we was on, on um, the Inspira in Salzburg. And um, this is just some stuff that you you will learn on here he winds up a parachute to the top and let it go and this is just for having fun this is my daughter Vilde she is now 10 soon to be 11 and, uh, this is just stacking some uh, balls on top of each other to make a pyramid and you can uh, play with water and uh, make some dams and stuff. You can see how the internal of the body works with the uh, nerves and skeleton and stuff. So it's um, highly interactive and um, the latest ones are just as modern as it gets. It's uh, really fun both for the kids and myself. Again, my daughter here in um, Salzburg. Here she have to figure out uh, what uh, angles and triangles you need to make that uh, square. So um, that's uh, brainwashing for you. You can sh you can see on her face how hard she is uh, figuring out this out. This isn't easy for. I don't remember how old she was there, like six or seven or something. <laughs> My kid Philip here found the uh, pressure there, and yeah, <laughs> that's my son. You also learn a bit about uh, buoyancy and um, density and stuff. Here, my daughter is pulling uh, a, bo a bowling ball up. You can see the tennis ball down here. And she drops it, and that tennis ball is shooting up. And going down again. And square bubbles. You have to make a uh, square in here and you can have square soap bubbles in there. Big bubbles. Here you have uh, water sticking to a spinning ball. That is a fun thing. <laughs> That's awesome. That uh, stone is big and heavy, but you have water sticking to it, and it's spinning. 
you learn a bit how a green screen works with the weather forecast. Here my daughter is on that same that my son was earlier. We learned about that. Um, that's what keeps the ball in the flow of air. That's my kid. <laughs> And here is the same that my son uh, pulled the parachute earlier. So my daughter here is uh, pulled it up and it hits the, f the roof and the ceiling and it goes down again. You can see all the stuff down here. Here you have something about uh, power. Um, over here you have solar panels and other stuff. Uh, here is a suitcase with a gyro inside, so when you lift it up, it uh, goes sideways. And a whole lot more up here. So this is indoctrination level 33, all the way. Here we are testing the reaction with hitting the light, uh, light bulbs as fast as you can. This isn't my kid, but uh, this is how gas uh, bubbles work when you light them on fire. This is what they do to kids in Norway. This is awesome. Here my daughter is trying out some uh, programming uh, ladybugs or something. Pushes them in the direction they want to go and uh, it goes forward, backward, left and right. This is the easiest way of programming stuff. But for a seven-year-old, what was that time? Um, uh, this is big fun. Yes! <laughs> v for Vilde. That's my daughter. She loves all the Vs and all the colors. This was now um, this summer in Bergen. So now she's a big girl. That's me taking photo. Yay! So in here, there's a lot of stuff, like a three-dimensional um, hologram and uh, that light and um, ceiling there. See the bike spinning there? <laughs> I was on that one. That was great fun. Hey! That's a spinning disc and she was a bit too small and she didn't uh, get the um, hang of it. This is, as um, rockets don't work in space, uh, this is just... Um... <laughs> Shut up Siri. <laughs> That's Siri for you. Sorry. Um, this is uh, rockets working space because um, I'm not pushing the air. Still I'm going around and around. So that's just... Uh, what do you call it? Conservation of momentum for you. What this is uh, supposed to be good for, I'm not sure, but it was a hell of a lot of fun to th take some um, skate wheels or skateboard wheels or something and put them on the, on the spinning plate. And uh, the way they moved, that was a lot of fun. Again, I guess this has something to do with the conservation of momentum or something. Almost there. Whoops. She did get the hang of it uh, afterwards. Just uh, had to try sometimes. Here's a bit about buoyancy and density. That little thing there doesn't change anything except uh, the pressure in the water. When my daughter pushed that big red button, she pressurized the water and that thing goes down. So, again, there's a whole lot of stuff to learn here. It's not just um, see what you've been told. You try stuff, you do stuff, and you learn stuff. This is also how the atmosphere is attached to the uh, spinning earth. It starts out uh, by standing still and as you spin that uh, table around it the uh, liquid in there uh, attached to the uh, globe the glass outside here but on the globe it's 
in the middle. You see it follows. So as the Earth has been spinning for 4 billion years or what it is, this is what have happened. And of course there were some mirror books, some books there with uh, nice effects. So this is a whole lot of fun. I told her she had to look at me and uh, that's the second or third attempt to find me inside that box. Even though it's a small box, it's just a meter wide or something. Yeah, that was um, science centers for you. And um, again, there's a whole lot of them along uh, the country of Norway. And I bet there are some other places in the world uh, also. And uh, this is the level of indoctrination we have here in Norway. Thank you so much for watching everybody. See you next time. Bye-bye.